Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Chem Chemistry. In this video, we're going to be looking at the quantization of energy. Now, this topic might seem a little bit abstract because it doesn't really relate to the atom. It does relate to the atom, but indirectly, kind of like the previous lesson where we talked about something which really we didn't really talk about atoms. But promise me, um, I promise it's all going to tie together, so make sure you understand this concept. So just as a background, um, scientists uh, once thought that there was no relationship between matter and light. Okay, They said there are two completely different things. And different experiments through the 20th century helped prove that scientists uh, helped scientists realize that they were actually wrong, that there was actually a relationship between matter and light. And we're going to be talking about this in um, more in depth in previous uh, in uh, upcoming videos. But uh, just make sure you know this. Uh, and the scientist Max Planck that we're talking about, Max Planck or Max Planck, you know, um, pe different pr people pronounce it differently, played a big role in this discovery. Okay, uh, this is just a background information. It doesn't really relate to what we're looking at here, but just make sure you know this um, because it's going to come back later. All right. So what he did he discover, which is um, we're talking about today, is um, the fact that energy only travels in packets. Okay. So we discovered that energy is transferred in distinct packets of energy. Uh, you know. So what that means is like uh, let's just, let's just put this into perspective. Like um, let's say you had a jar of marbles, right? Uh, you couldn't just cut marbles in half and start transferring it. Like, you have to uh, give individual, individual like, marbles I mean, to people. And, like, in the same sense, like, energy, like, it has, like, this very standard unit, like a little packet. You can't, you can't divide that packet of energy in half whenever it's being transferred. Okay? So they have these little packets of energy. And the, um, the equation that represents this is... Um, this equation here. So the E, um, delta E, so is just change in energy. Let me write that down. Equals N, which is the number of quanta. And singular, uh, one quanta is just qu um, quantum, you know, that's a singular form. So this number of quanta, quanta. And this is an integer value, right? Because it's a packet, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know? This is called Planck's constant. And Planck's constant is uh, 6.6262 times 10 to the minus 34th uh, joules times seconds. Joules times seconds. Okay. Uh, and... Um, you could probably find this on your, the, the, for, this, this is on the, I know for sure that this is on the formula sheet for AP Chemistry whenever you take the AP Chemistry test, so you don't have to necessarily memorize it, but if your teacher wants you to memorize it, then obviously go ahead and memorize it, okay? Uh, and then this is just a frequency. Okay. Um, so, the energy is essentially traveling in waves, okay, because that's how it's being transferred, because, you know, we talked about how electromagnetic radiation is how um, energy is being transferred in the previous video, right? So this is basically, like, explaining how, like, this, this video here is explaining how it's um, being transferred. So all this energy is being transferred in waves, okay, and the waves are um, made up of packets called quanta. So whenever they're transferring energy, you can think of it like... Um, uh, they're, they're being they're being transferred in little packets. So you have the, I guess I can write this down. You can have the energy, energy being transferred. In waves, and we talked about this in the previous video. How the energy is being transferred in waves through in in a process called electromagnetic radiation, and that's how it's being transferred. And then um, these waves are made up of packets of energy called quanta. Okay? That's very simple. And this equation is showing us the energy of each individual packet of energy, um, and, you know, that's really it. Okay? So that's the relationship between everything, how this ties into, like, the previous video. Uh, okay, so now these problems are going to make sense. Let's say we want to calculate the energy of a wave which has a frequency of 550 hertz. So, um, this, this, these problems are not giving us the number of quanta, you know. So let's just assume that for this equation um, here, um, that the number of quanta we're looking at is just 1, okay? So we're just saying E equals HV. 
So calculate the energy of a wave which has a frequency of 550 hertz. Um, so all we do is just use the equation. So delta E, so change in energy, energy being transferred, equals N times H times V. Resuming N is just 1. So we're just looking at H times V, um, v uh, or the frequency, you know, so it's not V, it's actually um, mu, sorry. Uh, but that's besides the point, it's just Planck's constant. So we're just going to take, N is just 1, so we can just put 1 here times. Planck's constant, 6 to, 6.6262 times 10 to the minus 34th joules times seconds, and then times the frequency, and it's, that's 550 hertz. And uh, remember that our hertz is also 1 over second, okay? Actually, let me write these units in different colors. So what's going to happen is, um, actually, since this is joules times seconds and this is 1 over seconds, um, seconds is going to be cancelled out with seconds, the units cancel out, and we're just left with joules. And that makes sense because that's what we want for energy, right? So uh, we can go ahead and just... Plug this into a calculator. And when you plug it into a calculator, um, we're going to get this answer. 3.64441 times 10 to the minus 31. And if we uh, use significant digits, you know, this number here has four significant digits. This number here has two. So our answer needs to be rounded down to two significant digits, making it just 3.6. So our answer is just 3.6 times 10 to the minus 31 joules. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We're saying like one quanta within this wave here, which has 500, a frequency of 550 hertz. So not one quanta, one quantum, I gotta get my grammar correctly, because uh, n is one, is having an energy of 3.6 times 10 to the minus 31 joules. Okay, now let's look at a little bit harder problem. Calculate the energy of a wave which has a wavelength of 0.025 meters. So the reason why this is a little bit more difficult is because we're not given the frequency. However, we know from the previous video, we know how to calculate the frequency of a wave given the wavelength. So what we're going to do is first calculate the frequency of the wave because we're given the wavelength. Very easy. And using that information, we can go ahead and plug it into our formula which we're using here. So let's go ahead and do that. So first part is uh, given the wavelength. So we know that wavelength times frequency equals speed of light given the wavelength here, so that is uh, 0.025 meters. Times um, frequency, which is what we're looking for, equals the speed of light, which is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Um, so just divide both sides by 0.025 meters, and we're just going to be left with uh, with frequency. So the frequency is going to equal. Let me plug this into a calculator here. So it's a 1.2 times 10 to the 10 uh, uh, hertz, right? Because the unit for frequency is hertz. Uh, and if you look at our significant digits, this number has 2, this number has 3. So our answer is just um, going to have two significant digits. Oh, by the way, I use 3.00. So, um, I typically just use this um, because the way I learned it, it's just a habit. I use I don't use 2.998. Um, but, you know, if, if your teacher wants you to use, it doesn't. it shouldn't really make a difference. Um, but if your teacher wants you to use a more specific 12.998, make sure you do that, okay? But that's besides the point. So our answer is 1.2 times 10 to the 10th, 10 to the 10th uh, hertz. So now using that information, what we can do is we can... Uh, Using that information, the frequency here, we can go ahead and use our equation here 
and uh, calculate the energy of the wave, which is, which is what um, we're um, looking for. So let's again assume that we are just talking about one quantum of energy within that wave. So n equals 1. Uh, again, Planck's constant is 6.6262 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. And the frequency, which we have calculated here, is 1.2 times 10 to the 10th hertz. Hertz, which is just 1 over seconds. If you look here, seconds cancel with seconds, and we're left with joules, which is um, what we want. Uh, so, you can just multiply this out. So, 1 times 6.6262 times 10 to the 34th um, times 1.2 times 10 to the 10th and that's that so we're getting this okay so and then we wanted to round our answer to two significant digits because this number has two significant digits so we will just get our answer to just be 8.0 times 10 to the minus 24th joules. Okay, pretty easy, you know? Now let's look at our uh, final problem here. Uh, calculate the wavelength of a wave which has an energy of 0 0.80 joules. So now we're going to have to work backwards. So here we went from and we took the wavelength, convert to frequency, and then took the frequency and convert it to joules. So in this example, we're going to have to take the energy. Uh, again, let's just assume that we were talking about just one quantum of energy. Uh, so we're going to take that, convert it to frequency, and use that frequency to calculate um, the calculate um, the wavelength. Okay. So question number three here. Delta E equals NHV, NH, sorry, NH nu, keep saying that, so we know this, we're just assuming that we're talking about one quantum of energy, uh, we're given that um, energy is 0 0.080 joules, this is just one, um, Planck's constant is 6.62, 6.62, times 10 to the minus 34th, Joules seconds, and then, and then just times the frequency, which is what we're looking for here. Uh, and then we just divide both sides by 6.6262 times 10 to the minus 34th to I, um, get uh, what we want, which is frequency. So 0 0.80 divided by 6.6262 times 10 to the 34th. We're getting that. Um, our answer rounded down to the significant digits here. This number only has uh, two significant digits. So our answer needs to be rounded down to two significant digits. So when we do that, our answer will just be 1.2 times 10 to the 33rd. Um, 1.2 times 10 to the 33rd uh, hertz. Because, you know, unit for frequencies just hurts. Uh, okay, so from here, we can um, use this information to calculate the wavelength. So, we know that we know that the wavelength of a wave times the frequency equals the speed of light. Um, we're given the frequency here, we already have the frequency calculated, and we're looking for the wavelength, so uh, Wavelength times the frequency, which is, uh, what is it? 1.2 times 10 to the 33rd hertz um, equals, that's kind of bothering me, <laughs> okay, equals the speed of light, which is, um, let's just use 2.998 in this case, so 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. 
And then what we're left with, uh, we divide both sides by 1.2 times 10 to the 33rd. So let me get my calculator and do that. It's 2.998 times 10 to the 8th. Divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 33rd. Getting this answer needs to be rounded down to two significant digits because 1.2 here has two significant digits, and we just divided two po this by 2.998 by 1.2. You know, so our answer needs to be having two significant digits. So that'll make our answer just 2.5 times 10 to the minus 25th. 2.5 times 10 to the minus 25th meters. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, you know, you might be just thinking, okay, why the heck are we doing all these random things? I promise you in the um, next lesson, uh, in the upcoming lessons, you're going to see how this electromagnetic radiation and uh, this quantization of energy is all tying together with atoms. Can you remember just the relationship between this video and the last video is that energy is being transferred in waves um, through electromagnetic radiation, and this electromagnetic radi radiation, or the, essentially the waves, are made, made up of quanta. So that's the relationship there. Make sure you understand that relationship because you might be like, you might be thinking, okay, well, how the heck does this all tie in together? That's how this ties in, this relationship right here. Okay? Uh, but that's it for now. The quantization of energy is as simple as that.